There are hundreds of different types of shaker. In the professional bar, you're gonna see these three mainly. The Paris shaker, which comes in two parts. The Boston glass and tin, also two parts. And the Manhattan shaker, or three piece. You don't need any of these. I like to use a large jam jar or kiln jar. This is quite a huge one. Fill this with ice. In fact, you only really want to go just over halfway. Don't put too much in. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a bit of pomegranate juice just so you can see visually what I'm doing here. The art of shaking is to get all the liquid and all the ice touching every single part of whichever container you're using. You want to have maximum chill and a little bit of dilution too. So this needs to be hard and a fast shake. So do it with gusto and you're gonna do this for about 10 seconds. And then you can see there's a couple of things. I can feel that that's nice and cold in there. And you can see that it's got this beautiful foamy finish to it and nice texture and all, everything is bound together. And that's the cocktail ready to go. You'd be straining this into your preferred glass. This is a cocktail glass. And if it's a single strain, all I'm doing is holding back the, the rocks of ice. So I can use both hands, just open this up slightly, or you could use a spoon to hold the ice back and allow the liquid to pour freely into the glass. Wiggle that about if you need to. Ensuring you get every last drop. And if it stipulates a fine strain or a double strain, you're then gonna introduce one of these tea strainers and that will go in between your shaker and your glass and that will capture any bits of pith or seeds or broken ice that have gone into the drink. So that's a fine strain, that was a single strain. That's an easy way to shake at home.